The indie city builder renaissance that I predicted 2 years ago is about to get into full swing in 2020. So here are just 10 upcoming PC city building games I'm keeping an eye on going into the new year. If this is the first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, I'm Steven Nansen's geek culture analyst, city builder, kinda sorta extraordinaire, I bring you mainly indie RPG strategy and city builder reviews, but today I'm doing something special, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoy what I'm trying to do here. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back and remember to click that bell button, it really helps a lot. So let's get this list going. The trailer for Nebuchadnezzar showed up late in 2019, an impression style isometric city builder set in ancient Mesopotamia, complete with what looks like a walker system, hopefully something less frustrating than those in Pharaoh and Caesar 3. It appears that, at least for the moment, the devs are developing the game with a strong focus on its 16 mission campaign, although one has to assume that the game will have a free play feature as well at some point in the future. Very important to mention is that the game is being developed with mods in mind, so that could mean a long life for this title. The two-person dev team plans to release Nebuchadnezzar in the second half of 2020. Builders of Egypt is a rather mysterious title, due to the lack of a developer website as well as a lack of information on its Steam page. It appears to be a very cool and smooth looking 3D pharaoh. The art style and proportions look realistic and judging from the various videos available on the Builders of Egypt YouTube channel, the game will have missions, free play and a pretty smooth interface. Can't really give you any more details than that but you can check out the start of the game because it's available on Steam under the name Builders of Egypt Prologue. Ancient Cities is a massive undertaking. It's a survival city builder that will start the player with a nomadic tribe and then take that tribe through the Neolithic Age. Your people will have to survive through simulated weather and day, year, season cycles as well as natural disasters and you'll have to deal with citizen attributes, aspirations and social dynamics, all the while developing and evolving technologies as well as other concepts such as religion and politics. Like I said, it's a massive undertaking, but from what I've seen up until now, it looks incredible. A release date is unknown at the current time, but it is expected to come out at some point during 2020. Before we leave is a cutesy looking city builder in which the player is tasked with rebuilding a civilization after living for generations underground. You will be recolonizing entire planets and have to deal with the catastrophes that previously sent the civilization underground to begin with. While the game won't have rival civilizations to fight with, you will have to deal with marauding space whales. No date for the game's release yet, but it will be available during its early access through the Epic Store. Distant Kingdoms is the only title for which I have no video, unfortunately, but the images look good and the description promises a city building, social management and exploration slash adventure game set in a fantasy world populated with various races of humanoids. I am rather curious about how the various races will be interacting with each other, as well as how the whole exploration and adventure aspect will be implemented. Neolithic is a solo dev project which plans to blend aspects of city builders, real-time strategy games and detailed character progression. This is a completely different scope than Ancient Cities and even though it doesn't have a clear release date, I just want to spotlight the title on this list because it will definitely appeal to someone who is into a more combat focused approach to city building. Dark Moon is a survival city builder that looks and sounds very promising. You will have to survive on the moon during what seems to be a continuous solar storm which has wreaked havoc on earth. The general idea is that you have to constantly be on the move because everything the light touches gets burned. To me this looks like it could actually fulfill the survival aspect that I found to be missing in surviving Mars. The game is scheduled for a June 2020 release on Steam. Airborne Kingdom jumps onto the list thanks to its theme and art style. It's a city builder exploration title in which you build up steampunk looking floating cities with a very particular art direction to it. It actually reminds me of a cross between the old Magic the Gathering block art from Arabian Nights and Urza Saga. The game is expected sometime during 2020 on the Epic Store. Atmo City has been in early access since the summer of 2019. It still has a way to go until full release, but it looks quite refreshing. It's a sci-fi city builder where you can build in all directions and dimensions, meaning you can create all manner of mind-bending and gravity-defying blocks of buildings. To me, it looks a lot like Cliff Empire, but without the severe limiting of your building area. After all, Atmos City isn't a survival city builder. 
buoyancy is on the list because I had no idea it existed until after covering Flotsam. It's the exact same idea as Flotsam, running and developing a floating settlement on a water world, but it features a realistic art direction and it also has pirates. Arr. It looks interesting as a sort of bizarro or reverse Flotsam. It has been in early access since the summer of 2019 and is expected to be out of early access by the end of 2020. Special mentions go to Cliff Empire, Workers and Resources, Flotsam, all of which I've covered in 2019. You can find them in the playlist on screen and to Foundation, which I've been planning to play since last year but haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe 2020 is the year for Foundation on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Which city builder title are you looking forward to in 2020? Let me know in the comments. I've been Steven Ansons and I'll see you next time.